A new lawsuit filed in South Florida argues for the rights of an unborn child. No, we aren't talking about the right to choose, rather the rights of an unborn baby in its mother's womb while the mother is incarcerated. The Uber driver's security camera captures Harold in a heated argument with another passenger, Gladys Yvette Borsella. We, we're looking for the opportunity of the unborn child to uh, to, to, to be developed and born ultimately. Oh, now what's the motherfucker that can't deal, man? Welcome back to Sheldon's Bootleg Ass Studio, where you come to kick it, vibe out, and shoot the shit with Sheldon. Listen, if you ain't subscribed to the channel by now, you're doing myself and yourself a disservice. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and tap that notification bell as well. That way, you are amongst those who are notified as soon as I release new content. Also, don't be shy. Drop me some in that comment section that way I can familiarize myself with you and recognize who you are as we are reacting to the videos or covering this news like we're doing today. And I appreciate each and every last one of my viewers. So if you drop me some in that comment section and I see it, I will respond to it or I'll heart it at the very least. You feel me? So you might just want to be on your best behavior. Because if you's a troll, <laughs> I will get on your dial gas. Indubitably. Video of today. We have a pregnant woman who's allegedly shot and deleted her one of her friends in the uber and um she's filing a lawsuit on behalf of her unborn child for being unlawfully detained while she's being held in jail until further notice trial and bail and all of other things but anyway if you hadn't already hit that like button before we jump up in it subscribe to the channel and we finna go on, get up into it right now. If you ain't fucking with my nigga Sheldon, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. It's been closed in a lawsuit recently filed in South Florida. For the first time, it argues the rights of an unborn child when it comes to the mother being accused of a crime. And only local 10 has the never before seen video that is now at the center of this case. Sonella Sabovic has the exclusive. A new lawsuit filed in South Florida argues for the rights of an unborn child. No, we aren't talking about the right to choose, rather the rights of an unborn baby in its mother's womb while the mother is incarcerated. The hmm. lawsuit was filed by 24-year-old Natalia Harrell. She's a Miami-Dade County Jail inmate. She's asking to be released from jail because the unborn child within her is not charged with any crime. Harrell, however, is facing a second-degree murder charge, and it stems from this incident in an Uber last summer. <laughs> The Uber driver's security camera captures Harold in a heated argument with another passenger, Gladys Yvette Borsella. <laughs> According to the lawsuit, Harold is pregnant and was in fear for her life, so she fired a single round, killing Borsella. Mm. The lawsuit goes on to say that Harold hasn't had adequate prenatal care and would like to get a bond set in place so that she can be placed under house arrest and only leave her home for medical visits. Her lawyer weighs in. We've asked for release, and and uh, we we're looking for the opportunity of the unborn child to uh, to 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 be developed and born ultimately in a safe environment, not in the environment that it's in right now, which is dangerous pods within TGK. Hmm. Miami Dade Corrections released a statement saying, "Quote: Miami Dade County Corrections and Rehabilitation partners with Jackson Health System." to provide health care to the inmates in our custody. And we are committed to ensuring all inmates receive professional, timely medical care and all appropriate treatment. We are conducting a full review of the health services offered and received to ensure that all prenatal care being provided in our custody is appropriate. A bill filed this week in Tallahassee coincidentally addresses similar issues. South Florida State Senator Chevron Jones has sponsored what would be called Ava's Law. This is about one, public safety, two, about the safety of the child and the mother who are incarcerated. No matter what they've done, uh, the, the, the child deserves uh, to be safe and the mother deserves to be safe too. That was Snella Sabovic. A bond hearing has been set for Harold. It's scheduled for March 7th. <laughs> All right. Well, how y'all feel about that? You know, she said she was in fear of her life, of course. In most cases, when you have a situation like this, a defendant is going to go for the self-defense plea. You feel me? So, I don't know. 
I can understand them saying that the child needs to be developed in a suitable environment. You feel me? Because being in prison, she won't be able to eat or jail. She won't be able to eat adequately. Um, you know, probably won't intake enough water and all kinds of other things that go into, you know, pregnant, uh, the pregnant stages. So, you know, at first I was kind of like, you know, this woman is, 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 a is a quack for making a claim like this, but she might have herself a case because she could at least finish out her pregnancy and then, you know, be locked up or whatever, just for the child's sake. You feel me? Um, but if they can sustain, if they can keep her locked up, if this, if she's guilty, if she's found guilty or whatever, you know, however they go about doing this, if they can keep her eating good and all of that type of stuff, then hey, that's another conversation. But anyway, what you say? Leave me your thoughts below if you vibed all the way out to the end. I really do appreciate it. It really looked like it was a drunk argument that was going on. And if the friend knew that the friend was pregnant, I'm sure that friend wasn't going to probably, if this is your friend, wasn't going to put her hands on you. Now, if she put her hands on you and she struck first, that may be a, you know, a case that she could win for self-defense. But if you just up and shot because excitement, people are yelling, you feel me? And you scared because of that? Like, that's going to be kind of hard to win in court. I don't know. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you vibed all the way out to the end, I really do appreciate you. And who, and, and who was pregnant? Because the one who had our, that back turned to us, it looks like that male could have been the one who pulled the gun. And she had her cheeks out. But I don't know. I don't know. I could be wrong. But that, was, that ain't the first time I've seen pregnant women with their cheeks out. You feel me? I've seen it a couple of times before. Anyway. You vibed all the way out to the end. I really do appreciate you. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. You feel me? Till next time, I'm sharing the vibes. I need y'all to be cool like the other side of the pillow. Stay light on your toes like you suppose. Oh, yeah, no. If you ain't fucking with my nigga Sheldon, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, God.